Hi, this is Killer Golf 2 Charlie, also licensed as LZ1 AMA. Welcome back to my series on RF connectors. In episodes 1 and 2, we looked at the SMA connector and the BNC connector. And today we're going to look at the N connector. Stay tuned and please subscribe for more videos like this one. To give you a basic idea of the end connector, I'll start by describing it as combining the best features of the PO259 connector, the SMA connector and the BNC connector. It is just as rugged as a PO259 connector, it is easy to put on almost as much as a BNC connector and it is good at high frequencies like an SMA connector. On HF it can handle several times the legal limit that we hams have and it can work at very high power even in the gigahertz range. As an amateur radio operator you will not see the end connector very often. I find that the end connector is very easy to put on even more than the PL259 connector and it stays securely much better. That's why it is often used at repeater sites for amateur gear and, and even professional gear. Another place where you might see the end connector is measurement equipment and lab equipment. For example, my bird RF meter over here comes standard with end connectors on the chassis. Now I've put adapters here to use the more common PL259 connectors for my coax, but it does have the end connector which enables it to work at very high frequencies precisely and without loss. Another piece of gear that I have over here that uses the end connector is my dummy load. This dummy load is rated at 100 watts and it's good up to 3 gigahertz because of the end connector used on it and because of the resistors inside. When properly installed and mated, the end connector is dust proof, waterproof and vibration resistant, which makes it a perfect connector for outdoor applications. It has a rating of IP67 so you don't have to worry about getting it wet. Here's a picture of some end connectors, male and female, and also some adapters to other types of connectors. Note the ceiling ring within the sleeve. I hope you found this presentation on the end connector informative. Please join me next week when I'll be talking about the PL259 and SO239 connectors, which are the most ubiquitous connectors in amateur radio. To get notified about my upcoming videos, please subscribe to the channel. All the best from KiloGolf2Charlie, also licensed as LZ1AMA73.